Hi, Joey. You're telling me that you have no, your voice is in this container? That's impossible. That can't be. This is for show and tell, and you can't talk. Okay. Well, can you help me with this math problem, or at least watch me? Okay. Here we go. All right. Anna has two groups of pennies. She has 16 pennies in all. Do you want to say that? <laughs> okay. When she changes the order of the add-ins, the addition sentence stays the same. What sentence can Anna write? That's the question. You want to take a guess? <laughs> I guess his, I don't know what's going on with his voice. All right, here we go. So let's think about it. What we know is we're going to group this 16 pennies into two groups, into two groups. There's going to be the red group, the red group, and then there's going to be the blue group, the blue group. Now, we want to split them up so that the number here plus the number here is going to be 16. And when I switch the order, in fact, it's going to be the same number sentence. Well, the only way that could happen, Joey, is if, in fact, these two numbers are, in fact, the same. So, therefore, the order will make a difference here. There'll be this exact same looking sentence, which means this is a doubles fact. Exactly. I knew you'd be surprised. So, all we have to do is now break this into two groups where each group has the same number. And that's actually easy to do because we know a doubles fact with 16, it's going to be 8 and 8. And so, we see that one group, the red group, is going to be this 8, and then the blue group is going to be this group, exactly, thank you, which is going to be that 8. And so we see now that 8 plus 8 is 16. So there it is. So 16 equals 8 plus 8. And if you reorder it, now you see 16 equals 8 plus 8. No matter how you slice it, it's 8 plus 8. And so therefore, this great doubles fact solves the riddle. What is the sentence you can write? 16 equals 8 plus 8. Eight. That's his way of saying eight, I guess. All right. All right. I still don't believe you, but you better run off the show and tell before it's too late. Bye. <laughs> oh, wait, wait Joey, you, you forgot your voice. He is so silly, isn't he? His voice is in here. Come on. I love that, Professor Burner. Can we do another riddle? Oh, my goodness. What are you going to do? I'll save the rest for later. I guess he was telling the truth. Have fun with math, and we will see you soon.